All right, can I, everyone in the world, and I'm not knocking Farley, but why does everyone in every interview go, oh, Chris Farley's the funniest guy that ever lived. And he's, why is that? I mean, I thought he was funny, but he, everyone has just this huge reaction to the guy. Am I the only one that? You are actually the only one. What is, what is it? It's what? called jealousy. No. <laughs> what, what, no, I understand what you're saying. People. Like everyone, every every guy from SNL, Sandler, everyone, everywhere you go is, oh, Farley, Farley. Well, and he I'm was like, unique. He was a character. He wanted to be like Belushi, John Belushi. And he turned out that he was. He got into drugs and he, you know, he died at the same age, 33. But was he that mega monolithic or are you just writing a narrative? Well, I will tell you what he was. He, 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 was Chris, he was the Chris Farley we all knew. He was big. He, you know, he was... Um, he was just—he was just willing to do anything for a laugh, and people kind of like that person who is like almost embarrassing. That'll do anything. Yeah. Here's a guy that people love, Norm Macdonald. Oh yeah, Norm Macdonald. Norm. Norm was Canadian. Well, Norm was one of my best friends. Was he really? Yeah. Are you serious? I'm uh, going to rip out this page for I'm you and serial. give it to you. I was actually going to ask you about Norm. Okay. Well, now you're asking me about him. Yeah, t- Norm, tell me. Tell Norm me. had no college education or high school education. Did you know that? I don't know if I believe that. I don't know if that's true. Well, you better save your believing and non-believing for the further uh, story here. He was book smart. He read tons of books. How long did you know him? Uh, I mean, I knew Norm since I was 25. And you're 49? No, that's we don't. You don't need to know that because I know you're probably right. going to do a online search. So you can fact check all this, but from what I was told, yeah. But he's book smart, and he could talk about any kind of topic. Also, very unreliable, as you may know. Yeah, you couldn't depend on him for anything. Well, you could depend on him for laughter. Not always. Not always. Not always. Because sometimes his attempt at a joke was offensive and undermining. He was okay. very, he was very um, what do they call it when you're um, argumentative? Combative. argumentative? Yeah, combative. He was combative with you? No, with you. You know, me and Norm, people don't know this, but when me and Norm started together doing comedy in Toronto. You guys were a duo? Well, we broke up and then we... No, we weren't a duo, but we, we started in, in the, the same, same club. Club, yeah. Uh, it's club Seal. Is it the castle? Uh, it was yeah. a place in Toronto, and um, Norm, in the early years, not a lot of people knew this, had, had stomach cancer. And so me and him were best buddies in those early years, and we used to... <laughs> we used to... Are you laughing at the cancer part, or...? I'm la- <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it was the funny kind. Yeah, the funny stomach. Uh, but, but I remember... He had belly cancer. He had belly cancer. And Norm... Oh, you know, this is a serious thing. We shouldn't even joke about this. No, you have to, because no, that's what Norm would oh, want. Oh, Norm would he, want it. Oh, okay. yeah, man. But Norm, when we were up there, he used to tell me, he goes, I want to be on Saturday Night Live one day. And me and him, and I found an old church and rented the basement... And we would go in there, me and Norm would go down in this room by ourselves and do sketches together. <laughs> we even made signs. I, I, we did this one sketch where we were sports uh, broadcasters calling the color to baseball games. And so I painted a big mural of the Major League Baseball thing. And we'd sit at this thing and be, okay, over to you, Norm. And we'd do these sketches, wow. but to nobody. I had no idea that you were yeah. uh, buddies with him like that. Oh, we were very close. Well, can I, we just I go back a little bit now? Norm we knew really he well. had, You knew him well. Yeah. He had cancer for nine years, kept it quiet. Do you think that was a, um, something from the stomach cancer earlier? I don't know what the later version of his cancer was because the, the, the stomach cancer was cured. He got through it. But um, the cancer that came back later in life, I don't know what it was. He might have had a couple of different kinds. Yeah, but, um, but it was so funny because he, we would be down there doing these skits. We weren't recording them. We, weren't, we just did them, and he would always say, he goes, I want to be on Saturday Night Live one day. 
And I, I was such a big, you mentioned in your book, I was such a big Second City fan. Second City was more in my wheelhouse. But just when I think back and then one day Norm was on Saturday Night Live and it was just so cool to be there, you know, at the beginning of that dream that he had. <laughs> we were yeah. just doing these skits. We'd be down there for hours, like just two guys in a room <laughs> to nobody. And we were yeah. just committed. Well, that was the thing about Norm. He yeah. just, he wasn't an actor. He even said it. He says, I don't act. I'm not a good actor. You know what made me mad about Norm is he was an actor. If you look at him in, in the Larry Flint movie, he has a very small scene where he was required to be very dramatic and very serious and be a really solid actor. And yeah. he freaking nailed it. He? Like, he's only in the movie for about two minutes. But I watched him do that, and I go, no, that's it. Like, you have he had this sort of Paul Newman-esque yeah, yeah, kind Paul of Newman. intensity. And I thought, Norm's shtick was the anti-actor. So right, I, right. whenever he wasn't kind of forced to be serious, he would kind of, ah, hey, I'm acting. You know, he'd yeah, be that yeah. guy. But I think he had it within him to be a really good actor. And to be honest, because I knew him so well, I think he was a bit afraid of that, to tap into that. Yeah. Um, but he. But what you probably also know that he liked to gamble. Oh, yeah, man. And we all learned not to loan him money. Yeah. And John Lovitz told me once he went to Vegas with him, mm -hmm. and he asked to borrow $500. Yeah. So he gives him 500 and Norm goes off into the casino. The next morning, Lovitz asks him, hey, Norm, you got my $500? Yeah. And he goes, hey, you'll get it. Yeah, oh, good Lord. And uh, the next day, next morning, same thing. Norm, you got my $500? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get him. Wait, good Lord. You know, and then the next day, Norm, that went on for a couple of days. And finally, uh, the last day, John goes, Norm, when you borrow money from somebody, you got to pay them back. Yeah. You know, it's so disrespectful not to pay them back. And Norm goes, what are you complaining about? You only lost $500. I lost $5,000. <laughs> That's his way of rationalizing and thinking. Oh, I, I, went to Nor I went to Vegas the first time he ever went to Vegas. Me and Norm went to Vegas. Really? And I'll remember, I was like out fascinated with everything. The lights. And running you like around. the lights and the shiny the sparkly stuff? Sparkly things yeah, yeah. and onion rings. And, and Norm sat down at the, the um, poker table at like 11 in the morning and I remember walking past that poker table probably five or six times until like two in the morning. And Norm was sitting there the whole time. And each time I went, he was just sagging a little more. <laughs> like, not because he was losing, but just he was exhausted. He just sat there. He never wanted to stop. We'd play tennis every day. And he wasn't the best tennis player. And I would beat him 99% of the time. And as soon as we finish a game, we'd be, be in the middle of the, the day, boiling hot here in L.A. Oh, let's play again, man. <laughs> and I go, you sure? He goes, yeah, let's go. So we'd, we'd play again. I'd beat him again. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> and then when he was up in Canada, just after his, um, his stomach cancer, was, he was going through it. We'd go bowling almost every day. Wow, you guys were tight. Yeah, and Norm wanted to play. He was very competitive. Yeah, very and he, competitive. And he wanted to play, let's play a dollar if you get a strike and 50 cents for a spare. And again, I was getting a strike or a spare almost every roll. And I would always, he probably beat me twice of bowling. And every time, ah, let, let's play again. Like he just, yeah. he couldn't stop. Yeah. And I was like, okay. He just, but. Uh, Very annoying to golf with too. Was he? I never oh golfed God. with him. He, what happened? He was competitive. He wanted to bet on each hole. And then oh. also he has the, uh, he has the memory. He can remember, he knows the entire um, golf rule book. Oh, wow, yeah. And if your ball is near the fence and you want to kick it out, you go, hey, you can't do that. It'll cost you yeah. a stroke, you know? And it's like, geez, I hate golf with this guy. Yeah, especially you know? if you're going to have a stroke. But he is I've... very competitive. Oh, super competitive. Yeah. I almost knocked his lights out. We, we, we were playing street hockey once. And this is when we were best buddies at the time. And we were in the corner going for a ball. And he just hammered me with this hockey stick right across my shins. And I just, I froze. I went, what the, f and I almost just, I almost knocked his lights out. And then I just went, wait, he's my buddy. He's just coming out of cancer. <laughs> and I stopped myself. I almost flattened the guy. What, what was the reason you stopped? <laughs> I almost did it, man. I got. Wow. I yelled at him so. I go. What did he what? say? 
He was just so compelled. He was so, he was like, ah, mm. and I was like, Norm, what the fuck? Like, I really right, lit him up. Right, yeah. And, and he was just, anyways, he was, but he was funny as all hell. And that, can hilarious. I see his picture again? Can you show yeah. me? Yeah. You want to see it? Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't get a real good look at it, but all right. I don't know if I still have it in here. Let me take a look. Oh, my God. Ants? Yeah, let me see. Uh, no, are there any drawings of your ants in there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, what I show is sometimes I show the evolution. Oh, the, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, so this was that. You know, here's Norm, like the early sketches of oh, him. Oh, yeah, wow. And then I go to the next one, and then you turn the page, and you see the next one. Yeah, amazing. Oh, I'm glad you include that. Some of them I do that for. Yeah, to show the process. Because I always thought Norm was a work in progress. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Good yeah. Lord. Yeah. Good Lord. What a character. Yeah. yeah. R.I.P. Norm. Holy smokes. Did you, was he on SNL when you were on? Or was yeah. that after? No, he was on, um, I think the last four years I was there. So did he, I think it was you doing the weekend update, weekend update and then yeah. it was him? Then it was him. Oh, okay. Was there any kind of weird thing that, that you were handing it off to him or he was uh, taking over? Was he was that? taking over. I got pushed out of uh, Weekend oh. Update because uh, Olmeyer, the head of uh, NBC, didn't like me. And eventually he didn't like Norm. He got rid of him yeah, too. Yeah, that's you fired him, right, for all the OJ jokes. Yeah. But that's the thing with SNL. Yeah. You will ultimately get fired on yeah. that show. Yeah. Because they take everything you have, all yeah. the ideas, squeeze it out of you, and then bring in new talent, yeah. get rid of the old talent. Do you feel used? No. 